Hello guys and welcome in this second video of this game engine series. So in this second video we're gonna be starting our core class and our main loop because that's important. You know all kind of game out there that you can see have something in common the game loop and uh, the game loop is actually that loop that's gonna be running forever as long as the program is running and we're gonna be dealing with that in this first video. Now you can see on the screen here if you're watching this video for the first time we have a simple showcase just wanted to show this so you have an idea of what we're working on we're gonna be building something like this I mean it's better than this but this is just a simple showcase that I built with this engine so without spending your time too much let's get started Now let me close this project right here. In the previous video we installed SDL and uh, yeah, we set up SDL and SDL image so that we could use it without any problem and we you know write this this kind of line of code to test if SDL uh, was um, correctly installed and yeah, we had this result on the screen showing working because we initialized all component of SDL and we display the test. Now we need to create our core class. In order for us to do that, we simply go over here and say new class. So you just make sure here the header and the implementation are in the same folder because I want it to be like that. You can still do it as you want, but I want it to be like that. So I'm gonna call this class core. So we have the the the, the header file and the CPP file right here. Now I also want it to be in in you know in a folder in a specific folder i don't want you know to have too much files out there you know you, you bring too much you know this order i want things to be ordered so i'm gonna create a new folder for this so i will add a folder called source in in this source folder we will add everything now in the source folder i'm also gonna say engine so in the folder engine i'm gonna be creating um i'm gonna call it core sorry in the folder core, I'm gonna be creating a class called engine. So that's actually it's a little bit controversial. So I'm sorry, but it doesn't matter. So we have a class called engine, and we create the folder called source and another one called core, and we add it in this core folder. So if I push on create here, yes, I want it to be added in the project tree. So you can see here we have the the folder added. So Every time we will be creating a new new class like camera, collision handler, um, event handler, we'll create a new folder inside of this source folder. So we want to do it like that because you know it also has a good layout of the project and that's good. Now you probably have some different things as me. For example, the CPP file and the header file in my case are in the same folder. They're not like you have an include and you have a source folder. It's because I changed something. That's why it's important for you to know this. So if you click on your project, like right, and you go on project trees. So if I click on this categorize by file types, you will see you have uh, what you actually know, what you probably have right now. So you have engine.cpp, engine.hash. But I don't want to have it like this. You know, it's too messy and there's too much folder and files and that's why I prefer to uncheck that project tree right here. So I uncheck this and I have something which is more, you know, it's simple. I have my files and I can simply access them. So that's enough about that. So now open those files. We have the engine, the engine class created. So one thing we want the engine class to have is we want it to be a singleton class. You know, I'm starting to, you know, so early with so complicated concept, singleton class, what does it mean and all that kind of stuff. The idea is we want to have only one instance of the engine in our whole program because we don't want anybody to create another instance of this class. That's why we want to make it singleton. Now, in order for us to do that, we need to create a static member, which is going to be of the same type of as this class. So we're going to say static. I'm going to say static instance 
instance. So it's going to be a pointer static engine, the pointer of this class. And um, yeah, whenever I will define a static variable, I'm going to be using this S underscore instance. For member variables, I'm going to be using M and then give the name of the variable. And the first letter, the first character is going to be uppercase. That's how I define it. So just you guys know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. So in our case here, we have this static object. Now I need to create a static. I don't, I don't actually need this destructor right now, so I can remove it so we're gonna be say static we also need to create a static method which is gonna be um, giving us access to this object which is static also so static engine it's gonna be a pointer because it has to return the instance of this class I'm gonna say get instance so I'm gonna you know write it in line I don't want to do this in the CPP file I'm gonna do it right here now we need to check is this object created then we return it if not then we'll create a new instance of it and return it that's in point so this is how we can do it we say return instance instance equal to now we check is our instance different from null pointer um, I also want to make sure because you probably have this problem I'm using the C++ um, 2017 so in order for you to have the same setting you have to go on compile up here you know and here you can see I have 2000 I have C++ 17 you know check this because that's in point because stuff like null pointer and stuff are a little bit early and if you're using a null version of C++ then you will face some issue so think about to do that that's important now we need to check first is this object right now this instance a null pointer if it is then we create an object of uh, a new instance of this class if not we just return it so that's why we say if it is different this is the turn I, I won't teach you about C++ so I hope you know this at least so instance so we return it or we'll simply say new engine so we create a new engine simply just like that now we just make this class a singleton class so we will always have only one instance of this class so whenever we reference to this in uh, anywhere in the code we'll always come back to this because we already have an instance defined end the reason why we always have one is because this one is, is static now the constructor should be private because if it's not private then anyone could create a new instance of it and that's dangerous it will bring some troubleshooting and stuff so make sure you put the constructor as being private now the engine has three core function that's you know that's important we have the update function so which is gonna be void for now and yeah we're not dealing with time right now but we're just gonna be putting the delta time because we need the delta time we're gonna be making all our animations and stuff with the delta time so that's important for us to define so just make sure you have that delta time right now so we have the update function we have the render so this is the guy who is going to be rendering everything on the screen so so we have the render function and void we have the event this guy is going to be handling events and stuff now um, just remove this and leave it like this for now we're going to be handling that later on we also have some important function we have the init so we need to initialize our engine we need the clean we need to clean after everything is done we need to clean the engine and make sure that all texture are deleted SDL is closed and all that kind of stuff we have void quit this function actually kill the process and you know that's that's it so we have those functions and um, what we want to do now is we want to switch over to our CPP file and we want to add 
our method that we just defined right here. So just, I just removed the constructor and the destruct in the in the destructor implementation because we don't have to do it here. We have the constructor right here. We have to define it like this. We don't need to put anything in the constructor right now. So just leave it like that. Now there is a shortcut to create those methods without having to write everything yourself. You click right, right, click right, and you say insert. So we have this insert right here all class method without implementation we can see we have init clean quit update render and all that kind of stuff if i push on okay then i have all those method edit so that's just simple like that now if i switch over to my main class i simply have to say i remove the, the sdl guide and i also don't need this ios stream include engine so we have the engine include we don't want to use any namespace because you know it's i always find it better to say std and put it like that just just like that even though i write more lines of code and stuff but it doesn't matter so we have our our engine uh, class linked now we want to create we want to start our main loop so how we do it we'll start by initializing the engine we'll say engine get instance get the instance and we say in it um i didn't also mention this i define the way i define my method is i always start with a you know uppercase character just like it's not important but just just important for me to mention now we will start a loop right here like while engine get instance it will need something like is running to make sure the engine is still running we we haven't created that method so let's go ahead and create something like that so we're gonna be creating a method here called is one is running so inline pull is running and this method will simply return the current state we'll have also a variable down here called is running a boolean which is the variable which, which tells if the engine is still running or not. So we say bool m, so member, and then it's running. And we create a guy, and right here we'll simply return, simply say return m is running. So when we return this, then we can know, okay, the engine is running or the engine is not running that's the idea of it now i can switch over to the main and call that function is running so as long as this engine is going to be running we need to do some stuff the first thing we need to do is check if there is any event that happens so we say engine get the instance and we say event so is there anything did the player push a button did he move the mouse and all that kind of stuff now after we've collect all those events we need to do something in the background like update like make a calculation like if the player decided to move if the the person who is actually playing right now decided to move the player we need to recalculate the position of the character on the screen so that's why we need to call the engine get instance update so now we do the internal calculation and now when the calculation is done we just render the result on the screen see what happened get instance say render so we have our game loop but it's not finished yet if for example the player decided to quit so to kill the process we need to clean the game engine to make sure that there is no texture and pointer staying in the memory because you know C++ doesn't handle everything for us we need to make sure we clean everything so engine get get instance get instance say clean now we can clean everything and this is basically our game engine now we're gonna be testing this the way we're gonna be doing this is just go ahead on init right here and say m is running set it to true because if you remember here we've said 
if this guy is running and this guy simply return is running the, this member right here so if this guy is true then we will run this loop right here now need to add some text i will go to the update function for example and need to add the ios stream include ios stream so if i go to the update function for example and i say std t out so and i say updating doesn't matter if it's correct or not so. and so uh, also need to add end line end line so let's compile this and see normally we should see this tag coming over and over over and over if we have no error so what is wrong right here um let me check this is this one this is one so let me check down here Ah, we haven't initialized our instance we need to in initialize it with null pointer because this is a static object so just go ahead here and say engine we redefine this object because we want it to have a value when we start the program so engine instance is equal to null pointer and compile this and see ah you can see we have updating coming on the screen now this is the main loop and this is the guy who is going to be handling everything forever and ever as long as we want the program running he's going to be you know checking if we have any events if we have any uh, uh, any mouse move or keyboard push then he will calculate and render everything on the screen so that's it for this second video i hope you guys are enjoying i will also provide um the link for the source code in the description below you can download it for free um hope you guys um really find it interesting so you can still support me on patreon see you in the next video ciao